Hello, beautiful people. So, it's a wonderful Saturday afternoon. Sunny and bright and wonderful. Sorry, there is going to be a video for Friday. I kind of just sat at home all day and didn't do much of anything because I had the day off from work. And so it was nice. I slept. I miss leaving so much. It feels so good. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, I'm, right now I'm heading to Popeyes because I decided in honor of the Beyonce concert, I am going to go on a Popeyes diet because it's her favorite, I guess, fast food fried chicken place. And so it's my favorite fast food chicken place. So let's go get that. Okay, so if you can see behind me, um, it's only been about 10 minutes since that last, since the first part, but we can see the sky behind me. Oh, it's nice and sunny. Over here, you can see that the storm's coming. So that's going to be a fun time. Um, you guys know how much I love it when it rains. I'm looking forward to it. And also, apparently, it's National Fried Chicken Day. So, woo! That's a lot more than nine chicken nuggets. See, what I love about my Popeyes is that if you order the nine chicken nuggets, they don't actually count them out. They kind of just like scoop a bunch in there and assume that they've hit nine already. <laughs> so you get your money's worth and a little bit more, which is phantasmographical. But yeah, um, I'm going to eat now while I vlog and drive. Well, not while I vlog and drive, but I'm vlogging and driving now. And so I'm going to switch to eating and driving. And yeah. Hey, so I just took my little cousin to see. Epic, which I took me a long time to actually go to see, which is surprising because Beyonce is one of the main voices in it, and I'm absolutely in love with it. When she died in the movie, I cried. Like, I literally started to tear up, and I was like, I'm gonna hate the rest of the movie because she's not gonna be there anymore, and I'm gonna be upset. And then she, like, came back up with her voice from time to time. And so I was like, yay, she's still here. And it was actually a really good movie. I cried at the end. And I really love animated movies, which is probably a good reason why I'm at Ringley. Yeah. Surprisingly, it hasn't rained yet. But it's only like 6 o'clock, so we'll see how the rest of the state goes. All right, all right, all right. So if you can't tell, which you probably can't, I am leaving my favorite place in the world which is the mall. Um, I decided that since my bestie Ronnie got me a Kanon gift card and I was sitting at home doing nothing, I would go shopping and get something, something else for the concert because I told myself that I wanted to look brand new for it. So I bought some new shoes. Um, that way... I would be brand new with all the clothes that I was wearing. And then I always, 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 you guys, get the message in a bottle of water. And that's because um, they donate, they have a like village in Africa, some part of Africa. And each bottle donates money to it, or they send to that village. And I'm all for charity. And water is good for you. It's way better for you than soda. So you should definitely drink a lot of it, basically. Now, I'm going to head over to the movie theater and hang out with Bryce because he said he's going through some girl problems and I'm going through some lack of girl problems <laughs> in my life right now. But I always, you have to always be there for your bros. And he's one of my best guy friends that I have. That, oh, okay, that's just my hair. I guess um, I thought something was on my forehead. I assume it was my hair. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I don't think I've talked about this before, but the girl I like goes to my school, and she doesn't live anywhere near me, and it sucks whenever I start thinking about her, because I can't stop thinking about her, and it takes me a long time to stop thinking about her, and so I try to distract myself with other stuff, and as of last night, I, I made a hopeless... Hopelessly in love, hopelessly devoted to you playlist, like as quoted from Grease. I'm hopelessly devoted to you. That that song, um, if you didn't know it, 
we don't know what look it up but um yeah it has a lot of songs on there including saving all my love for you which has a whole new truth to me and a whole new meaning that I was not expecting to ever feel but that song is literally how I feel minus the they're actually in a relationship while the other person in a relationship we're not in a relationship yet but you know I have my fingers crossed hopefully maybe this year that'll change um new year's resolution time but yeah she's just the most beautiful girl i've ever seen i don't i'm i'm assuming that she's that way inside and out from the conversations we have had together but i've never had the courage to actually like ask her to hang out with me because you know i'm kind of shy when it comes to that kind of stuff and and i just don't i don't want it to be like awkward if if it comes out to her that i like her more than she likes me and then since we're similar majors, it's all it's all awkwardy and stuff, and it's awkward eye contact and awkward seeing each other, that kind of thing. I'm starting to mumble on about this. I'm sorry, you guys. You don't need to hear about my problems, but it feels good to talk about my problems sometimes. Yeah, next time I see you, we'll be with Bryce, hopefully. I remember to do this with him. Alright, so we just saw World War Z, and that was a crazy movie. I don't understand why they didn't give it a date, because now I'm just worried that it could happen literally any time in the world. But, oh well. I'm here with Bryce. This is Bryce, you haven't met him yet, but okay, yeah, you can see him. And then Erica's going to the bathroom. But, yeah. We're gonna get some food, and I'm tired, so then I'm gonna go to bed. Um, maybe I'll see you later. Okay, so I'm pretty much home now, and it's almost 3.30 in the morning, so I'm probably gonna get in trouble for getting home so late, but it's no big deal. Um, I'm just getting, to, Eric and I were like sitting in her driveway, we were just talking about mostly my feelings and about how about how much I like the person I like. And it's weird liking someone so much. Like, I don't even know how to explain how much I like her. But I like her a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Like, too freaking much. <laughs> and I thought that distance and time would make me get over her and not think about it. But it hasn't helped at all. And so we were talking about that. And now I'm going to go home and go to sleep. And hopefully not think about her for the rest of the night. But if so, I had to make myself a little music playlist that I could use to help me get over her. Or to help me not think about her. But, yeah, that's it for drastic measures, I guess. Um, ooh, there's a fox crossing the road. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys later, and I wish you sweet dreams and beautiful nightmares. Board World Z is a great movie if you haven't seen it yet. You should definitely go check it out. Um, it put a great new twist on the zombie movies. So that's interesting. But yeah, I wish you guys sweet dreams and beautiful nightmares and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.